Shit talk about black. Now I go and so does Russell. And we have all these babies, right? We do not know that we are in the breed to serve program. So my daughter, she noticed that the melanated men who stay with their children, they wind up dead. The police kill a lot of them, just like him. He wanted to take care of his children. I saw him on a video. He appeared to be talking to someone, maybe a baby's mama. And he said, we'll just hold off until we go to court. And I'm going to show them the $1,000 that I gave you, you see. Now he is giving you a thousand dollars and you're taking him to court too. Why? Because the master has programmed you to some stupid ass um what is that? Child support. I'm surprised he doesn't say kids support. But he does say child support. You need to support your kids. So now you're going to take the man that you chose to lay with, he did not rape you, to master. It does not matter if master is melanated and net. Black robe coat, you have on a black robe. You are part of black robe coat. Black robe coat is black robe coat. Point blank period. Unless you are playing in a movie and you are the judge, you are not a judge. You are just playing an actor as a judge. You got that robe because a judge fucked you or you fucked or you fucked the judge or more so you suck the judge's dick. You know? Because maybe that judge's dick was sucked when he he was eight days old and got circumcised. You think they just not doing this shit to show it to us? These motherfuckers been sucking babies' dicks. How do you think so many of them are the way they are? This shit is so fucked up. And then there are females on TV and movies. You are watching them. And I'm sure that the, the carpet munters and the silly men are oohing and owing over them. And you don't even know they are a man. When I'm done with this video, I'm going to show you someone in a movie who is new to movies, I guess. I'm not for sure. But it is not a female. It is a man. You can tell through the movie. If you just pay attention. Oh, his head is so fucking big. And like, wow. And then the way it is made up. Ugh. You can tell it is a man. And men go Google it all over for another man. Because a man is dressed as a female. You're just fucking nasty, you dick and ass worshippers. Now you have girls when they're running around, killing themselves, and going to prison. and Because they are injecting some stupid shit in their ass to make their ass more appealing to the man. You know, let's lay some Egyptian shit. You know, ham. Ham is your ass. Ham. Be ham in that ass. You know, because ham's ass was gay. It comes from the fucking Egyptians. Everything a gay man does today. And I'm not talking about a gay man who dresses in men's clothes. But these who dress up, even the ones with beards, all that shit came from Egypt. Now let's take really about that here. And the Kinsey syndrome, that's what we're going through. And just because I'm reading about your fucking Christmas tree does not mean I'm not talking about the Kinsey syndrome. The Kinsey syndrome is coming from Alistair Crowley's diaries. Do you comprehend? At the end of Kinsey's name, backwards is yes, which means king. In Hebrew, and Cain was in the garden. And the woman said yes to the serpent. You know, it's just, it just behooves me how this bitch can just walk up into the garden. When the fuck did he come from? He walks as a serpent. The T. The cross. The plus sign. And he has a pen in the middle. And although he, he, he takes the sir and he spells it different. I don't know if it's a S U or S E. It's S-E-R. So he turns it into a S-E-R instead of S-I-R. And then he begins to write what the fuck goes on. So Inky creates this female. Nah, bad, bad. Inky creates this woman in the garden from an atom. It does not say if the atom was male or female. But it did say that the atom. It didn't also say that the atom was 
that Inky went and woke the atom up because instead he put the atom to sleep and then he formed this thing. It did not say. And then he woke the atom up. So the atom is still asleep. The atom is in a 6,000 year old sleep. It's older than 6,000 years now. And that's how come the pigman knows everything. He can go all the fucking way back to the big man and tell you how it happened. As though his pineal gland is guiding him. You are a motherfucking liar on a lot of shit. You just theorized bullshit and you gave everyone a belief system. So they believe your stupid bullshit like them stupid ass dinosaurs. Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <clears throat> no. The baby program. So now they take him away from, and now they take him away from his babies. They take him and they put him in prison. And this is where they're going to do all the experiments on him. Okay? And even do a lobotomy. See, maybe if I had went to prison, they probably would have done a lobotomy on me. So, they perform a lobotomy. But his pineal gland is still so strong that it kind of like buses through the lobotomy thing they did, you know. And he begins to remember, and, and, and it was just so odd that all during his parole, he did not. Going to, oh, the government is trying to kill me if he did. I did not see a video of it yet. Because there's someone who has um, a, 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 like a folder with nothing but the videos in it. And I can just stay there all day and watch. Um, and so I have not seen yet him talk about the government is trying to kill him. I mean, he said it once. As soon as he got out of prison, he said it. And then after that, I really didn't hear it anymore. I just saw him drinking and having sex with pink nasty whores and, you know, and stupid shit like that. And then all of a sudden, I see him again. He has lost all the weight. You know? But I still don't see any videos of him talking about it because no one wanted to put this shit on the videos. And I need to see more videos of him talking about it like right before he died. So if any of you creepy crawlers, if you know where there is a video I can find that says that he was doing dope, you know, where you can actually see him doing it. Because as much as he talks about himself and so honest, I don't need to hear anything from anyone else, just the horse's mouth. So if you know that there is a video, can you please show me that video? You know, or show me the way to see the video. And um, if there is one where he is talking about the, they are trying to kill him right before they kill him. You know, but I see one that he still has that weight on him. But when he died, he should not have had the weight on him. You know, he was back small. So, but he did not talk about that. Now. I talked about a lot of things and how he they made him in the baby program too, which they call it a a breed to serve program. And Amy is the one that brought that up to me by because her son she said that's what they had her son in. Um the breed to serve program. And when she said that, I told her I guess they had me in that program too. And now since they could not take me from my children and they tried to kill me more than once. Yes, they have tried to kill me more than once. They just didn't. I don't know why they never shot me. I mean, they hit me in my neck twice with uh, a stun gun and then in my back. I didn't even feel it. I still with that bitch's ass. She still got her ass whooped. I didn't even feel it. And the police got understanding my trial, and he said I was like a bear. Wow. I said, wow, but I think he said that, didn't I? He said I stunned her in her neck twice. I put my hand up to my neck because my neck and my back, it would hurt so, 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 so bad. But I thought it was because of the fight, you know? No, it's because that pink bastard stun gun me three times. Three times. He said he stun gun me three times. 
in less than two minutes. And I was like a bear. Because that was not me. That was my entities. That was my Ima. My Ima came and whooped that bitch ass. And then another one of my entities came and whooped a bitch ass police ass in Florida. He was a man. The one here in San Diego, she was a female, a woman. But the one in Florida, he was a big 300 pound, like 6'3". And weighed like three, 400 pounds. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, they put me in handcuffs and threw my ass in the damn car. And the, the little skinny girl, she um, sprayed me in my face. You know that shit burns. My eyes burned. And the police, the big fat police, he was on top of me at that time, you know. And all he had to do was go ahead and handcuff me. But no, when she sprayed. Put that spray in my face. I beat that shit out of him. I, I don't know. He got his ass beat. And I can remember beating his ass. But the woman cop here in San Diego, I cannot remember anything. Except where I started and where I ended up. They do not remember throwing blows on her or anything. I just don't remember. It was like black. But the man cop. Oh, I saw myself be this big, big ass. I saw it. And my mind said, oh, that's a police. I had my nose in his face. And my mind said, that's a popo. And something else in my mind said, I don't give a fuck. And my nose went straight down his face. So every time he looks in the mirror, if he did not get surgery on his face, you will see claws as though it is a lion. Going down his face. I tried to dig his motherfucking face out. I would have thrown it on the ground. The nasty bastard. Don't touch me. I don't put my hands on you. I don't come to your house. Don't come to my house. Offering me your ass. And don't come to my house. Sneaking up on me. Like coming from the back. Grabbing me. No bitch. Don't do that. You don't know me. Sometimes I don't know me. I did not know. I was going to whoop his ass. I did not know. I had even whooped the, 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 the woman popo ass here in San Diego. I did not know. But I saw me whooping his ass. And I knew he was a popo. When I scratched the fuck out of his face, I got out of it because that nigga came from behind my back. So I claimed I did not know who he was. It is a fire prison term. To hit a Leo That's in the Bible too A Leo that sits in his den His den is a car hmm. I did not know who came up from behind me I did not know It was just a reflex And he got his ass whooped That was it he, You are a police officer You are supposed to introduce yourself to me as a police officer And then you grab hold to me You don't just come up from behind me I don't know who the fuck you is nigga What? Got your ass whipped, didn't you? Big motherfucker. With a pagan leadership. Look at that. Pagan leadership believes. Religion is a pagan... Pagan leadership. Point blank period. And the people. And in the word people. is Pope. Which takes you back to religion. Believe a lie. It's right there in the middle. See, they have to tell us the truth. And they do. They tell us the truth all the time. They're like, wow, aren't they ignorant? That's why so much evil has come about. Believe that a good plan, see, in the word good is God also. A good plan may fail unless it is carried out by the numbers. So therefore, see, when you are... Dealing with your pagan religions, whatever it is, it is carried out by the numbers. There are, and then this word is numb, see? N U M B. So, this, can this word be also numb numbers? You know, like you are numb, numb down, numb, N U M, numb. Hmm. Hmm. And here's the word cry. C R I E D. Well, okay, I'm gonna stop playing with these uh, uh, words and 
being all boring and shit, but shit, my life's boring, shit, what the fuck do you expect? Remember what I said before, how no morality is very important in the occult, in particular with the numbers 3, 4, 6, 9, 11, 13, and 36. Because here you have 360 degrees. You all have, he put a point there. Not a comma, but a point. So it is 36 point. And there's also three sixes. And here is the 13. Because he is a 13 strand, they also use 13. So that they can fuck up the 13 strand and so forth, you see. So, and also, we are the 13 strand. They are 12, you see. But we are 13 and more. 22, as Dr. Wright says. So, 1 and 3 is 4, and that is the foundation that he is set on. But he did set his foundation on a 3 and 6, and they wondered why. And he does not even know. Someone knows. He knows why. He has to know why. So, next time he visits, I'm going to ask him why. And then I know I have to research. Hmm. That's what I don't want to do. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, maybe I'll just wait and he will tell me why. I do not have to ask. Like he emceed himself. I, I did not have to emcee him. He was in the lineup over here, you know. And I found this video, you see. So maybe he will reveal the information to me or why he called it 836. Now... When you're dealing with numerology, there are many different types of numerology. I deal with numerology, the saints are on my bib. Other people deal with numerology. They, um, there's a book, almost like the Bible or something. I can't think of it right now, but they deal with numerology out of their Kabbalah and maybe others. But I listen to all of them because then I can learn also other ways. To deal with numerology, I know six. I know two ways right now. Two ways right now of how to um, deal with two different types of numerology. I know them, and other people I listen and you know just listen and and I learn from them. But I don't actually know the Kabbalah number numerology. I I know a couple of things, but I don't actually know it. You know. But there are many people who do. Like this little brother named Ampu. He is real tight. Now let's see why these numbers are particular. You see the T.I. And there's a L.A. Alpha deity, which is the God. Here's your word part. And here's your word incorpor incorporated, like your income. And you. You see Russell, see, was killed. They are not going to give up that K. That's why that K is like, killed. Actually, they get the K from Acadian, you know? Or they get the K from somewhere like uh, Ananaki. And they need to be like us and like Tim and Tim and Taylor. They become better, you know? So they have KKK. But they're not going to give that up. They're also called the um, they also have a K name too. I can't think of it right now. But Russell was killed, and you see Illuminati, and that's the KKK who did it. In the exact, in the exact, the studio. Somebody does not know how to write. Let me see. Russell was killed in the exact, the studio, 36 Chamber Studios. Okay. Well, he was killed in 36 Chamber Studios, where the Wu-Tang Clan came into existence. Isn't that something? He died in the same spot he came into existence. But Wu-Tang keeps coming up, and I never see them much, you know? Hmm. It's funny he died in the chambers. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, that was them because I was about to show you something. <laughs> okay. He died in the chambers. You see the word him? Mm hmm Yeah. 
Yep. Hmm. More there too. And there's your TI. They put a lot of TIs into these studios and then turn them into studs. Mm. Where the Wu Tang clan in, came into existence, he could, uh, he could have been killed anywhere. Okay, I'm not gonna really talk about the way people speak. Because the way I type and the way I speak is like out of this world, but is he could have been killed anywhere. Yes, he could have. But they waited exactly till, see Illuminati? He was back in that very studio. Whoever killed him had a hat on. They wore a hat. The very studio where the day, it should be the Wu-Tang Clan, recorded their first album. Hmm. And it says, all bum. So before he came there, he didn't have much, right? Now he have a lot. So it's funny that his name is Russell, so I'm going to say Russell. That would be the United States and God. And then he ends up as a bum? Wow. Hmm. Like I said, I'm just talking shit. And there's something else I really want to do. I mean, I want to finish this, but there's something else I really, really, really want to do. He died on November 13th. Now you have 11, which of course you know, the 11 is also, you know, the Tau, which stands for the sun, mostly. And there's your victory, because now they have the victory over him, and no more do they have to deal with this member of the Wu-Tang class. Well, and there's 13 too, you see, 13. And he was 13, and he had 13 children. And they took him out on the 13. I wonder if they took him out on the 13. Because his pineal gland began to open up. He would have known a lot, a whole lot of, they would not have killed him. Or maybe if people would have listened. But it is so funny. Um, This would be for, which is the foundation. He had 13 children too. So now... This is the four, and this would be 11, so there would be two. Four, five, six. And look at this. Four, five, six. See, so they know exactly what to do. It's like once they kill us like this, they know exactly what to do. And they get our energy. See, this is why I'm not into astrology. Because that is the Crowley. He will take pictures of people, and you will not even know he has your picture. Although I was told that if you don't know someone has your picture, they cannot do anything to you. Shit, yes, they can. So Alistair Crowley will take your picture, and then he would um, do certain things just with your picture. Like I would say, perform alchemy. You know, alchemy means to change a substance on substance, or one mineral or material into another. That he could do things just with your picture. And then um, he started doing things with astrology. And this is how come in 1933 they came out to get a birth certificate and put your time of birth on it. Because it is a lot easier to just have your birth certificate, your time of birth, um, your address, your parents' names, and and maybe even your parents' birthdays and stuff, because they do things with numbers, and so they can fuck your ass up. That's how they got here. Inky fucked around with numbers, and they fuck around with numbers too. And they once used to talk to a melan a nun, melanated dude, and he wanted to argue me with me that numbers were here before words. You know, and they said, "How can you say a number?" Or think a number without thinking a word first. If I say 13, I still don't say any word. If I say 1 and 3, I just said 3 words. So how can a number come first? Even when you count, you have to say a word. But see, he is a Neanderthal. Because he is none 
melanated. So, of course, he would want to go into and believe that Nimbus came first. But in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with, and the Word was. Therefore, in the beginning, words came first. So, now we have two sixes, you see. Just two days shy of his 36th birthday. Two days shy. There's your two right here. And there's your two right here. If we take one from three, you will have two. You see. Wow. His 36th birthday. Now, see, this stuff just, it just matches up a little too fucking much for me. You see. I think he was born on the 15th, and that would give you a 6 too. But this is 36th birthday. Now he had the 36 chambers, and also that is 3 6 6. You see? They're telling you someone, they did this shit, they let each other know. They do it on, on days to get the power from my brothers, to get the last energy. Like you breathe your last breath. The motherfuckers want to make sure they're there to capture that last breath and put it in a fucking jar. And then they put it on a fucking machine and, and have, like, electricity going to it and shit, you know what I'm saying? They can make a dog head live on a the machine. They can make a breath live on a machine. It is our energy. Nasty bastards. So, he died on the 36th birthday. And he died in an area called 36 Chambers. Wow. And then they want to say he he overdosed. You were overdosed, lie. Now, see, after I tell you about the elites, here the bitches come. The elites tried to United States him as let you know United States did it him as an example to the other artists. And there's the word Ti. You see, Ti's. So the elites and there's your one. Your three and your five. You see? And your 